Hi, Nick Holland, Sports Car Global with Oliver Webb. Um, Oliver, limited running for the Baikolers due to, I think it was a fuel pump issue that led to a fire for Pierre? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So uh, we don't know the full ins and outs of, of, of what happened, but obviously it was on, on the engine side, on the fuel pump side. Um, there was a leak somewhere, and, and yeah, Pierre did an amazing job to, to save the car, um, pretty much solely down to him. So uh, he's. he's Although obviously it's a lot of work for the guys, he's made it a lot easier uh, and, and effectively made us start the race because if it wasn't for him, we might not have been able to start. Right. Okay. And for yourself, I mean, you, I think I saw you got some laps in before Pierre took over from you. Yeah, so uh, I got around five or six laps in um, in the dry. Um, which was which was good and the car went the quickest it's ever been round here straight away on old tyres so we're happy with the new updates and, and obviously then Pierre took over and unfortunately the, uh, the inevitable happened and um, yeah a bit, bit gutting really to see. Okay, um, weather conditions then obviously intervened on Thursday night as well, um, did you get some wet weather running, how does, how does the car feel? Yeah well uh, the car actually feels quite good in the rain, I got some wet weather running and uh, Although I got red flag during my session, I got quite a few laps before that happened and it's going to play a huge part in the race. It's uh, very, very tough for the prototype cars. The GT cars are the same speed as us almost because their height off the ground compared to us. So when it rains, it's going to open going to open a whole can of worms for everyone, I think. Okay. Uh, there have just been some later bob changes which might take some of the, the top off some of those uh, GT cars. So uh, we'll see what the consequences of that are. Um, so to the race, I, I think off off uh, microphone we spoke about you've not had the meeting in terms of taking the start. Everyone's talking about a weather forecast that is a damp start. So I fully appreciate, understand uh, any caution around that. And uh, Pierre is, as we discussed, well placed to um, to take that. Um, does the car do you get to double triple stint? Um, how do tyres last? What's the strategy look like? Um, yeah, yeah, we can all double and triple stints. It just depends on temperature, driving style, who's doing it. Um, we've got a different tyre category compared to LMP2, so we've got our own privateer tyres for us and Rebellion. Um, the Rebellion cars and us act differently on the tyres, on different types of tyres, so we'll be on different tyres most of the race normally. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be quite a cool race, so uh, it's not going to be very warm, so we should be able to uh, should be able to double and triple stint certainly in the night, uh, all the sets of tyres that we do. That's great, Oliver. Well, we uh, will be heading up to the centre of town. I believe all drivers are mandated Definitely, to go up yeah. to the driver parade, which starts at 5.30 today. Um, and if it runs to time, we might just get finished about 7, 7.30. Oh yeah, maybe. We'll uh, wish you a good night's sleep after that, and then a very long and comfortable, safe race. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck. Thanks.